So in a nutshell, I was um, diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 29 weeks pregnant with my third child. And it was fast and furious from there. But it was a unique window where baby wasn't quite big enough to be delivered. But I was too far along in my pregnancy to go ahead and start chemo. So I had surgery and then chemotherapy. Um, I had a bilateral mastectomy without reconstruction. I'm usually after the radiologist, the first person that they're going to meet. And, you know, it's my job to kind of prep them for what's ahead. So I met Dr. Sawyer um, on May 5th. She came in and let me know that I had cancer. <laughs> and um, our relationship started there. Um, she didn't sugarcoat anything, but I felt incredibly safe with her and I felt like she really understood me. Patients started to seek me out and I really embraced that opportunity to take care of them. And then it just became more and more of what I knew I was supposed to be doing in medicine. There are so many phenomenal people that took part in my care here locally. I can't imagine a better place to get treatment. I think um, what people don't realize is that we do have that comprehensive multidisciplinary team approach to the care of breast cancer. And we have passionate providers here. You know, we talk as a group often. We, you know, see each other eyeball to eyeball at least once every two weeks where we discuss new patients and, you know, come up with plans. We know that patients do better when we approach cancer from a multidisciplinary approach. They made me feel like I was one of one and um, just remarkable, remarkable. I call them God's human hands. They're the human hands here on earth that give me everything I need every day I need it. While I understand that it is a scary time. Um, we got this. We really do. And, um, you know, we're going to take care of you. And we're going to do a really good job.